Hey everyone, this is Casey with Sea Reeves Makes. Not too long ago, our family adopted our first dog. After begging and pleading for years and years with the kids wanting a puppy, we finally succumbed to this beautiful little face that you see here on the screen. Coda was pregnant with seven pups and they were advertised on Facebook through the local animal shelter. We asked about what would happen with the mom once the pups were weaned and adopted. They said that she would go up for adoption too, so I filled out the papers and I was the first in line. As a thank you to the foster family that had Coda and the pups, my wife Deanna thought it would be a great idea to make them a gift. So I thought, okay cool, she's going to make them a cutting board and we'll be set. But she had other things in mind, so I figured I'd let her go with her design and ideas and see what she came up with. She's made some pretty awesome projects in the past, so I was excited to see end results. I was busy with some other projects, as you can see in the background, running around, but I just let her go and she had a blast. So picking out some nice walnut pieces, she laid everything out in a cool pattern and got them glued and clamped. So back to the project, she picked out a nice dog bone shape and started to create a template using the bandsaw. So after rough cutting at the bandsaw, she took the template over to the sander to sand it to the line. Once she was happy with her shape, she traced it onto the cutting board that we had previously scraped and run through the drum sander to clean it up. With a narrow blade on the bandsaw, she was ripping through this like it was a scroll saw. I was really impressed with her skill and ability at the bandsaw cutting the shape out. Using double stick tape, she stuck the template to the cutting board. Then using a profile bit and the template at the router table, she routed everything to shape. She got this awesome idea to put an inlay of a paw print into the cutting board as she's done inlays in the past with the bandsaw and the router, so I was excited to see the results of this. This was some figured maple that I had left over from the Sparrow Table project, so it was perfect for this inlay. Again, rough cutting and shaping everything and sanding it. She got the paw print just right and then she laid it out with a sketch on the cutting board. Then using the trim router with an eighth inch straight bit, she started removing material up to her lines. A lot of back and forth and test fitting to get this just right, but basically she's a human CNC at this point and making everything fit perfectly. Once she was happy with the fit, she just loaded up the cutting board with glue and stuck in the inlays. Then using a block and some clamps, she clamped everything up. Off camera, we ran it through the drum sander a few times just to get it nice and smooth. Then it was some quick hand sanding just to check everything and make sure we were happy with the results. Back at it, she did a quick round over on all sides just to smooth out the board and make it nice and presentable. And then one final sanding going 80 grit through 320 grit. It was time for an oil bath. I keep a vat of mineral oil in the basement for cutting boards, so 
It's pretty easy just to take a board and plunge it in for a few hours and then take it out. Well, here it is. Isn't this a cool gift? Just the idea alone to give the foster family something for the dog that we adopted. And really just a, a huge thank you to them for taking such great care of her and her pups uh, until we were able to bring her home. But just a huge uh, achievement by my wife to knock this out basically in a day so that we could take it the next day over to the foster family. But it's been great having Coda in our family. She's been an awesome addition. Uh, she definitely keeps us on our toes. We do a lot of walks and outdoor activities with her, and she's been just an awesome uh, final piece to our, our family unit. And we love having her around, and we would not change it for the world with the adoption of her. So thanks for watching this. Thanks for tuning in. And if you like this video, please click subscribe and stay tuned for more. I am Casey with Sea Reefs Makes, and thanks for watching.